In this edition of School Dilemmas, how do you uncover a thief when you only have suspicions? This dramatization, based on a real case study, follows a teacher who suspects one pupil but has no hard evidence. How would you encourage the pupil to confess? And would you be wrong to make an entire class pay for one child's crime? Although the story reflects real events, we're not, of course, using the actual people or school involved. So, the first thing we're going to do this week is to look at the poem at the lamplighter. <sighs> Why does it always happen on a Monday? I started this particular week just an ordinary teacher, but by lunchtime I'd become Miss Marple, and by home time I turned into Cruella de Vil. Did you like it? Yeah? yeah. Okay, good. Did you understand? I suppose it started at morning break. The children had left the classroom and I was heading for the staff room when I noticed Tonya. Tonya, what are you doing? Nothing, miss. Nothing? Well, go and do something outside. Tonya's a good enough girl most of the time. Go on. But there have been occasions when I know she's lied to me. I know there's no good reason for her to be in the cloakroom, but what could I do? Should I have searched her? Anyway, I thought no more about Tonya until lunchtime. Enter Rajdeep, crying her eyes out. What is it? Eventually, I got to the cause of the tears. My chocolate bar's been stolen out of my lunch bar. Your chocolate bar? Did you leave it at home? Come on. No, miss. It's, it was in there. Well, where did you leave it? In the clink room. OK, OK. Of course, my mind immediately went back to my encounter with Tonya at break time. Am I right to suspect Tonya? Well, of course, I've got nothing to prove it was her, so I can't really confront her, can I? I could find no other clues or any evidence to support my suspicions. Not so much as a smudge of chocolate on her lips. Nice lunch, Tanya. Yes, miss. What did you have? Sandwiches, miss. Just sandwiches? Yes, miss. Okay. I needed a confession. I decided to set an ultimatum. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, children, but there has been a theft. Someone, at lunchtime, went into the cloakroom and stole a chocolate bar from Rajdeep's lunchbox. Now, I want the boy or girl who took it to admit it. And if no one comes forward this afternoon, there'll be no golden time for anyone. Golden time, when they can choose their own activity, is their favourite part of the day. Now you know the rules. Is that understood? Yes! OK. The afternoon came to an end. No one had come forward. I feel really bad that one of my children is capable of stealing. But I feel even worse that I'm treating everyone as if they were guilty, including Rajdi, who was the victim. Well, I'm very disappointed, children. I hope that by tomorrow, someone will come forward. But until then, come on, it's time to go home. Pack your bags. But what can I do?